Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create Asana tasks for new form submission. So imagine this, you are using HubSpot forms to take complaints about your products. So once the complaint has been submitted in HubSpot forms, it will create a task in Asana. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of the complaint from HubSpot, sort it out and manually create a task in Asana. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that when a form is submitted in HubSpot, it will automatically create a task in Asana. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate HubSpot and Asana. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is my HubSpot account and I have prepared a form. So this is the form that I have built. It's actually behind this. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy the link of this form. Okay. And imagine this, the respondent is filling out this form in Microsoft Edge. The reason I'm making sure that the customer is filling out the form in Microsoft Edge is because I'm just trying to give you a perspective from the end of a user or a customer. So imagine this, a guy called as Johnny is filling the form. So the first name is Johnny and the subject is, um, let's say, Python error. Okay, so he has problem with Python and the, he's uh, putting the description as uh, for loop has failed. For loop has failed. Okay. And this is the email of Johnny, Johnny Depp, 123RT at the rate gmail.com. So this is the email. Let me just click on submit. Okay, so the form has been submitted by a person called as Johnny Depp, 123RT or something. And he has a problem that his Python has failed because of for loops or something. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to check into Asana. Do we have an issue? So let me just refresh this. So the idea is that once a form is filled, okay, so once the form is filled in HubSpot, there will be an issue in the Asana board. So as you can see, we don't have the issue at this point. Okay, so let me just refresh this again. Okay, so as you can see, now the issue has brought up. So this is by Johnny. Okay, so let's have a look. So this is by Johnny and the description is Python error for loop has failed. So basically, this is the whole gist that once the uh, form is filled by a person uh, with the issue, uh, the issue will be sorted out, uh, the issue will be displayed in Asana. So to begin the actual integration process, first type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Because we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate HubSpot and Asana. So this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this. Okay, so before I do this, uh, let me just uh, show you something. So as you can see, there is a workflow that I have already created for uh, integrating of uh, HubSpot and Asana. So I'm just uh, going to switch this workflow off because uh, since we are cre creating a new workflow, it will create a problem of uh, double results. So that is why I have switched this workflow off. It is actually none of your concern, but uh, let us start from beginning by creating a new workflow from the scratch. So the name of the workflow is uh, HubSpot to Asana. Now, of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. Let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as a trigger window. So basically, we are trying to create a new workflow. Now, in case if you want the ready-made workflow, you can clone it from the link that I have put in, in the description box. So in the choose app, how about we make it as HubSpot? Because we want to send the data from HubSpot. That is why. 
okay so now in the trigger event how about we make it as new form submission okay so new form submission is a trigger event so your obvious question is what is a trigger event trigger is basically if statement it asks a question if the condition is met what should be done for example if a new form submission is made in hubspot then what action should be taken by the system now we do have a ton of trigger events like new product added contact updated new ticket all of them are a bunch of trigger events of hubspot now in case if you want more trigger events according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabri.com to custom build trigger events for you but at present i just want to send the data when a new form is submitted in hubspot so basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate hubspot and public connect so let us take you to hubspot so this is my hubspot account and basically this is the form that i'm going to integrate with so this is the name of the form that is new form so let me just close this Let's go back and let me just click on automation. Okay, so in the drop down, you will find an option called as workflows. Click this. Okay, so let me just create a new workflow. Click this. Okay, so we are going to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Asana integration. Asana integration. Okay, I'm sorry about the spelling. It's just, okay. So the type is I'm just going to start from scratch and let me just click on new. Okay, so we are ready. Okay, so basically we have to set up the trigger. So the trigger is basically when a new form is submitted. So let's make it as new form submission. So where is it? New form submission. Yeah, this one. And we have to select the form. So as I mentioned, the form name is new form. So we have selected the form and let me just click on apply filter and just click on save. Okay, so we have set up the trigger. Now we have to set up the action in HubSpot. So the action is basically the data will be sent when the trigger is uh, created, when the trigger is triggered. The action will be the data will be sent to webhooks. So I'm just going to click on this plus button and let me just click on trigger webhook. Click this. Okay, so basically in the method it is asking for post. So let's keep it as by default the post. And in the webhook URL, we have to enter the webhook URL. So to get the webhook URL, let's go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Easy. Okay, so we have pasted our webhook URL. And let me just click on save. Okay, so at present it is showing the workflow is off. Let me just click on review. Okay, so here we have to make two choices. The first one is of the existing contacts. So I'm just going to click on this uh, window. So yes, enroll existing contacts who meet the trigger criteria as of now. Okay, now coming to this part, real enrollment. Let me just click on edit and just click on this checkbox. And let me just click on save. Okay, so we have made some changes and let me just click on turn on. Okay, so our workflow is on. So basically at this point, we have successfully integrated HubSpot, Form and Pabli Connect. So basically this means anytime a new submission happens in this form, Pabli Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me just click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just taking you back to the workflow. Okay, and I'm just going to clicking on marketing here. You will find lead capture in the lead capture. You will find forms. So I'm going to select the form. So the name of the form, as I mentioned before, is new form. So we have selected the form. So let me just click on edit update. Okay, and let me just click on copy. So the form has been copied. So I'm just taking back to Microsoft Edge. Now, before we fill out this form, there is something I have to do. So to avoid cache error, I'm just going to clean my history. Okay. So this is something is uh, that is going to create a problem. If you don't create, uh, if you don't clear the cache, uh, it will actually create problems because it will give wrong data from the forms. So I have create, I have cleared my browsing history and I'm just pasting the link of the form. Okay, so we are going to fill the form as uh, Jenny. Okay, so she has a problem with uh, Java. Okay, the subject is just Java and the description is uh, compiler has failed compiler has failed and this is the email of jenny jenny 1234 rt at the rate gmail.com just a random email that's popping in my head that's all let me just click on submit okay so the form submission has been made by a person called as jenny so what we're going to do here is we're just uh, going to look into public connect since it is integrated with uh, this form has it captured this detail or not so it is showing it is waiting for the data so give it one or two seconds so as you can see we have got the data so we have the person's name that is janine and the issue she has is uh, something related to java or something okay so where is the java related thing so where is our java 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 
so let me just scroll down so as you can see this is the email okay and then we have uh, the name so we do have the name and uh, okay so let us actually we have to search for java specifically because we are not really getting in the detail so what we're going to do here is uh, let's check do we have the detail called as java yes we do have the java and uh, the description was about something about the compiler compiler okay okay i'm sorry about the spelling okay so this is the description compiler has filled so basically using all these details we are going to create an issue in asana so to do that let me just click on this plus button okay so when we click on this plus button another window opens up so this window is called as the action window so this is asana we have chosen the app and the action window how about we make it as um, how on the action event we just make it as uh, create a task create a task okay so the action event is create a task now let me just click on connect with asana in the new credentials click on connect with asana so as you can see it is uh, taking time to authorize okay so the authorization is successful okay press okay okay so as you can see a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blanks is very simple we are going to create a task in asana from the data that we have received from hubspot via public linked so uh, let's uh, start mapping so this is the mapping button when we click this we will find all the details that we have received from hubspot so as you can see the name of the person is janine so i'm just going to map in the name okay janine janine or something so i'm not getting the name uh yeah so this is the name janine and we have mapped it now coming to the notes I'm, i have a very particular plans for the notes so basically i will be putting into the subject first okay and then the description so the subject was something related to java so let us explore java okay so we have mapped it now we are going to enter a colon and inside the colon we are just going to map in the descriptions it was something related to the compiler has failed or something compiler has failed so let's have a look compiler i'm sorry compiler has failed so we have mapped it now we don't have the time the due date or the due on so we are just keeping it as blank now coming to the part called as the assignees since uh, these are all the assignees we have ashirai ashirai 2 ashirai 3 so basically we have the same people ashirai 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 3 ashirai 4 so i'm just keeping it as ashi ashirai now in the follower again i'm just keeping it as ashirai okay now coming to this part called as so as you can see we do have a ton of projects that is present here so this is because uh, as you can see let me just take you to my home page so these are the all the projects that is present in my asana account so all the projects that is present here is being simply reflected here so out of these projects i'm selecting this one it request no specific reason because uh, especially the reason is actually because uh, the uh, complaint is actually related to it the java and compiler and all so i'm keeping it as it request now the workspace is is this one so my workspace is uh, it so the workspace i'm showing it as it now coming to the tags these are the tags we have now if you want to have more tags in Papri connect you actually have to build ta tags in asana so it will actually depend on uh, each of your projects so you can actually build tags from here okay so at present i'm just keeping the tag as ta and uh, let me just click on save and send test request to uh, create a task so let's do that okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent so yes we do have uh, the task called as janine and uh, the this is the task java compiler has failed so basically the presence of uh, this uh, task shows that we have successfully integrated hubspot and asana with help of public connect now uh, before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so here i'm just going to minimize this action window okay and i'm going to minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated hubspot to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to asana so now there's a perfect flow of data between hubspot and asana not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.